Is the European Union applying a double standard toward Israel? In July 2013, the European Union issued a series of guidelines restricting economic activities in Israel to territories within the pre-1967 lines. The EU's explanation was its desire to align its economic activities with what it called its non-recognition of Israel's sovereignty over the disputed West Bank. But is the EU being consistent in restricting economic activities in disputed territories? Western Sahara. In 1975, Morocco invaded Western Sahara after the withdrawal of Spain, the former colonial power. Morocco crushed all demand for self-determination despite the ruling of the International Court of Justice against its claiming sovereignty over the territories. Still, this did not prevent the EU from negotiating a lucrative fishery partnership agreement with Morocco which it confirmed applied also to the shores of the Western Sahara. This agreement allowed French and Spanish fishing fleets to greatly expand their reach into these disputed territorial waters. Northern Cyprus. In 1974, Northern Cyprus was invaded by Turkey and has remained under Turkish military occupation ever since. As a result of the war, Many Greek Cypriots abandoned their homes and properties which were consequently occupied by Turkish settlers or confiscated by the new Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, a political entity which was rejected by the vast majority of the international community. But despite its history of occupation, Northern Cyprus became a popular vacation destination for Europeans seeking beachfront villas at bargain prices the EU institutions never restricted their citizens from purchasing or building houses in territories which are indisputably occupied. Kashmir. This disputed territory, which is claimed by both India and Pakistan and partially controlled by China, has been a war zone for many years. While the EU institutions officially encouraged a peaceful resolution of the conflict, they never stated that their economic agreements with India did not apply to Kashmir. Out of the many territorial disputes around the world, the EU's guidelines have singled out only one country, Israel. The EU's prejudgment of the pre-67 lines as borders contradicts previous agreements which it signed as a witness. These agreements leave the status of borders open for negotiation. The EU's biased policy undermines its status as an honest broker and damages the prospects of reaching an agreement through peaceful negotiations.